Hello, I'm Johnny. And I'm Abby, and this is our church. <laughs> the vision that we had, that was missing here. And I knew there were so many brides that wanted this same thing. While living in California, Johnny fell in love with a project that brought the couple back home to KC. We fell in love with creating something so beautiful and so classic and, and timeless. They bought the Broadway Baptist Church in April, got married in June, and began work in August. When we got the property, it was originally named uh, First Swedish Church of Kansas City. The Swedes built it, um, and then uh, quickly they change it to Broadway Church because it's on Broadway. And when I was thinking through it, I was like, do we keep it Broadway or do we do something different? When I lived in California briefly, I lived on a really close to a street called Melrose and it's one of the main roads in LA. Um, and I always thought it's a pretty name, Melrose, right? And then uh, I wanted to embody Abby's name into the venue. And when you think of an Abby with an E, so A-B-B-E-Y, like an old church, um, and I was just like, Melrose Abbey sounds really pretty and classy. Right so this is the first Swedish church in Kansas City. So the Swedes build this. And if you look at the architectural design of the Swedes compared to like Italians or French or Spanish, they're very much more of a minimalist uh, designs. Five nightmares, 45 checks that I wrote. And, and enough to <laughs> give someone a heart attack if it went down and half. Yeah, but it all is happening in one week. Uh, we have 43 days left before our first wedding. And to be honest, we need more like 90 days. So we are so behind. I'd take a few months. Yeah, on. yeah. The good thing is it's pushing everyone. Like everyone is working overtime right now to get it done. Yeah, good job. You picked that. I did. Oh, they didn't paint the ceiling green. That oh, yeah, that. they're supposed to paint the ceiling. Uh, oh, across the oh my gosh, babe. Do you know that this is double? Vanities. So we've got challenges on challenges on challenges on challenges, but we we're trying to remain positive. Two more weeks, we are in need of a miracle with our health, with this project, with our sanity, and we are just sending up all of our prayers. If at the end of all of this, we see that we did have this wedding in two weeks and everything was completed for the most part, just know it wasn't us. It. Oh, we have just a little over 12 hours until their wedding. And we're just crying about it. We're gonna do it. <laughs> But uh, the good thing is it's pushing everyone. Like everyone is working overtime right now to get it done. Stay tuned. We are getting really close to get it done. We're getting to the finish line. But the question is, are we gonna get it done before the wedding? And that's what's keeping us up at night. We did it. We did it. We did it. We are finally through the first wedding. We actually pulled it off. We were, we were able to have it. I mean, that's a big surprise. The bride loved it. The family loved it. But let's rewind a little bit because that morning, which we have on footage, that morning coming in, the morning of the, um, the last day that we were working, so the day of the rehearsal, where, what time did they come in for the rehearsal? Like 4 p.m. And we were there at, from like 10 to one. And I remember sitting and filming and talking about like, okay, can we get this done? And feeling like the most nervous that I'd ever felt because it still didn't look any different. When I left at one o'clock, it still looked like a construction zone. I was, I mean, beyond myself. When I came back at four, 4.30, the whole place looked amazing. It was just the cleaners that were just like dusting a little bit. For the most part, it looked like a wedding venue and I was floored. I'm still telling Johnny like, how, how did this happen? But thank you God that it did. Yeah, I'm relieved because now that construction is mostly done, we can focus on improving the quality of the experience for uh, the future rides and rooms that are gonna get married here. We're just so excited to be able to look at the first wedding and perfect the process. How can we make it mm -hmm. uh, smoother? How can we make it more fun? What other options can we offer? She's so excited about it. What other options can we offer for, for a couple getting married here? So I'm just so excited. There's so many ideas and so many 
good pointers that you can now run with and you can bring to the TV. Yeah, it's really refreshing to see our vision come to life and creating this experience out of this beautiful historical church that is not only going to tend to the time of the wedding for guests coming in, but it's actually gonna curate these really special memories for the bride and the groom having these places that they can get ready all day and create those memories with their friends and their family um, and really embed something so special that Kansas City maybe you know doesn't have a lot of and we wanted to bring that in and offer something new and fresh um, and just exciting to our couples. We're so excited for all the feedback we got. Uh, the bridesmaid loved this big space that's unique. Not a lot of wedding venues have a space like this where they got ready at. The groom suite was fun and I could tell because they're very loud and they were having a lot of fun. People loved how high the ceiling was and just how big and open the space was with our suspended dome. Uh, the, the custom chandelier got a lot of feedback and all the chandeliers throughout. Uh, people loved the reception space. It was cozy, but they can tell everything was high end. Got a bunch of compliments on the bar and the bathrooms. We are just ecstatic. And also if you're following along the journey on social media, there's gonna be a lot of new content and updates. So stay tuned as you're part of this journey with us. Thank you so much for all your support. And a lot of you guys were believing in the idea and the project before it was anything like that. So we'll be continuing to update you guys. We're also coming up with a new website, new photos, new videos. So we're so excited. Thank you for watching and being part of the journey.